this Sunday night at 7 p.m., we're going to be celebrating Rosh Hashanah in the Regent University Chapel. Paul Wilbur and his band have been leading us in worship for this celebration since 2008. Take a look. Paul Wilbur has been singing messianic worship music for over 35 years. With over 20 albums recorded in four different languages, Paul has helped believers around the world draw closer to God. In his newest album, Forever Good, Paul uses the inspiration of the scriptures to encourage believers to worship God. Please welcome back to the 700 Club our dear friend Paul Wilbur singing King of Glory. Come on and join me there at home. Put your hands together. Lift up your gates, be lifted up, and let the King of Glory come. Lift up your head, you ancient doors. Lift up a shout unto the Lord. Lift up your gates, be lifted up, and let the King of Glory come. Lift up your head, you ancient doors. Lift up a shout unto the Lord. Whoa, you are Lord of earth, you are Lord of life. Oh, King of glory, come and fill this place today, today. Whoa, we come into your holy place. We lift our eyes to see your face. You are the all-consuming fire. Your presence is our one desire. Whoa! Who is this king? Who is king of glory, the Lord mighty in battle? Who is this king of glory, the Lord God almighty? Who is this king of glory, the Lord mighty in battle? Who is this king of glory? Lord, you're welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Beautiful, as always. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the lyrics to King of Glory. Psalm 24, um, as you know, because you've been with us traveling yeah. even in Israel, um, all of our songs are taken right from, from the scriptures. Scripture. Yeah. The only thing that we have the promise for that doesn't return void when you sing it, yeah. it'll provoke the presence of God. It yeah. does the work uh, as you were praying just a few minutes ago. He's the healer. He's the mm -hmm. deliverer. So yeah. we, we want him to come and I've fill seen our it space. happen. <laughs> I've seen it happen. We are too. It's you amazing. have a new CD, Forever Good. Mm -hmm. What's the message? 
We search the scriptures to find, because, uh, Terry, there's so often as you read the scriptures, mm -hmm. you see when the people of Israel were in trouble, when they were connected with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they'd go out into battle, but they wouldn't send the archers first or the hatchets first or the spears first. They sent the praisers first. And they always seem to go out with the same message. Mm -hmm. um, give thanks to the Lord for he's good and his mercy endures forever. We see it in Second Chronicles 20 with Jehoshaphat and, and on and on and on. So we search the scriptures for these statements of faith that seem to provoke the mm -hmm. presence of God and set them to music. And, and God has his own methodology of doing things. So when we look into the word, we see those things. Rosh Hashanah, it's mm -hmm. upon us. What should this celebration mean to Christians? Mm. Well, if we read carefully the scriptures, we'll, we'll see Leviticus 23, where he says, these are my feasts. You know, most yeah. people say, well, these are the Jewish feasts. Mm -hmm. These are the feasts yeah. of the Bible and on and on. But God says, these are my feasts. So when we see the life of Yeshua, the life of Jesus, he fulfilled Passover with, he is the Lamb of God. He was raised on the Feast of First Fruits. He fulfilled the Feast of Pentecost with the outpouring of the Spirit. But there's all these fall feasts now. There's Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Tabernacles, and, and there's a couple other minor ones that we really see and believe that at his second coming, these things are going to have a fullness. And, and so they belong to the people of God. These are kingdom celebrations. It's not a denominational thing. It's not just messianics. <laughs> yeah, it belongs to the people of God. So because they are his feasts and he invites us to come in and participate and enjoy his table and his wisdom and his presence and fellowship with one another. Do you remember, I, I don't know if it was actually your very first huge concert in Israel. It was about 13 or 14 years ago. I was there with my daughter who was nine at the time. It was so amazing. Mm -hmm. The presence of the Lord was so incredibly strong. I thought Jesus was coming back that I night, my friend. I was he was, actually. I, <laughs> I wrote we him songs that he would come that night. <laughs> yeah. I thought, what a great ministry, you oh, know. It was. Oh, and now, do you mean Shalom Jerusalem? Yes. That was 21. No years ago. Was it really? Yes, not 13. You wow. have the same problem I do. Yes, I do. And it's, it's getting worse every it's day. It's so fast. <laughs> yeah. It. yeah, yeah. But that was a moment in time. Something mm -hmm. happened in in the spiritual world that night. I mean, it was quite a celebration. So here we are. Once again, you've been doing this here at CBN and Regent University since 2008. When you come to do this again, how do you, what do you look for? How do you prepare your heart? What do you want people to come away with? Mm. Well, I think, Terry, the whole purpose is, the purpose for my life is to help people connect mm -hmm. with the presence of God. Yeah. So that's my job. I see myself as kind of a, you know, a stand in between the music and the, the things mm -hmm. and, and helping people to direct their praise and worship. One of the things that has, um, concerned me, I guess I can say, through the years. When I go to other cultures, other churches, a lot of the praise and worship, it, it seems like they're talking to each other. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I always thought that praise and worship was supposed to be directed to a throne. So I see myself as kind of a director. You're leading us. To help yeah. people connect with the throne. I want to quickly tell them before we leave, Forever Good, it's available where music is sold. But most of all, we invite you to join us Sunday night for Rosh Hashanah here at CBN and the Regent Chapel, 7 p.m., cbn.com. Be with us. You don't want to miss it.